I am going to get every achievement in Cookie Clicker. It'll be fun. I have finally gotten every achievement. It was kind of fun. Wait, there's a new update with more achievements. No! I have once again gotten every achievement in Cookie Clicker. I can quit now. Wait, there's a sequel with 900 more achievements. Fun! It turns out Cookie Clicker existed inside this mana orb within this realm. Each click gives me a gold coin instead of a cookie. With 10, I can buy a farm. I started growing bread, but I realized I make the laws here. So I started growing bread. Oh, an angel coin. Angels are one of the six factions that have unique buff to increase money. And with them, I can use the power of taxes. A spell that gives me 30 seconds of production. Used it and got my first achievement for a thousand coins. But I am not alone on this journey. I have assistance. Ignore them. I need an inn for my people to sleep. I could just build them houses, but instead we've got an infinite hotel situation. Inside this inn, there are an infinite number of rooms, and none of them have Wi-Fi. And also a blacksmith, because if the grandmas do come back from Cookie Clicker, they have a very specific weakness. Swords. With these buildings, I'm making 54 coins per second. Who would need more than 54 coins a second? That's 1.7 billion dollars a year. That's enough, right? I can quit now. Nope, I have 1% of achievement. I'm checking the settings to see if there are any fair labor laws. Do I need to give my people space, sanitation, healthcare. Oh no, I make the laws. And since hard times create strong men, I'm giving them the hardest times possible. I bought as many farms, inns, and blacksmiths as possible for 200 coins a second. 11 trophies in two minutes of gameplay. That means this video should only take me about two hours and 44 minutes of gameplay. So far, this is pretty fun. Time to choose between a good and evil faction, but they aren't divided by opinions or policies. Just by how they look, fairies, elves, and angels are good. Goblins, undead, and demons are evil. It's literally just racism, but if I'm gonna be racist, I'm gonna join the winning side. Also, evil factions focus on idle play, and good factions have a more active gameplay. The way I play idle games is clicking with all 10 fingers until they bleed. I really want to quit this game, but I can't because it's just so much fun. fun. Choosing the good faction showed me more buildings that I can't afford, like opening a Christmas present and instead of getting a guitar, it's an advertisement for a guitar. I still have to choose which good faction to join. Fairies boost the basic buildings like farms and inns. Elves boost clicking power and angels boost spells and mana. But I have to improve a little to convince them to join me. I built a warrior barracks because grandmas have another weakness. Swords. I also built a wizard tower to refine my bread. I have 14 trophies. Getting real close. Should be able to quit soon. I have 20 faction coins and with my obsession on clicking, I'm choosing the elves. The first upgrade gives a higher chance of finding other faction coins. This is useful because I can sacrifice their coins to get coin multipliers. I'm sure they won't mind. It's been about one minute since I had 200 coins per second, so if I check now, I have 1.3 million per second. Who would need more than 54 coins a second? As a yearly salary, that would be 42 trillion dollars. Finally, I'm rich enough to quit and go live my life. Oh, someone emailed me the progression for the first part of the game. And I am here. This red part is how much I've done. Just look at how much more fun there is to have. I think my million coins came from the 17 cathedrals I built. A lot more people would be Christian if they knew about the the good faction spell is Holy Light, which boosts my clicking power by 17 times for 10 seconds, letting me purchase my own personal castle, which is cut off by the top of the screen. I have 33 trophies and enough coins to buy the second elf upgrade, boosting my click reward by 820,000 coins, which doesn't matter because I already earn 5 million a second. My mana is slowly regenerating from all the alternate universes and dimensions at all times within Cookie Clicker, and I can finally buy Heaven's Gate. If we move up from the farms and inns, we find the door to heaven, and if we go inside, we see that heaven is a login screen. So after you put in your name and address, you get to this page. You are not Morgan Ellis. Go straight to hell. But I don't need heaven. I have the third elf upgrade. It increases my mana regen by 10, effectively boosting the clones of myself conquering all known realities by 10 times. I used the mana to cast Holy Light again. Future Dragoon here. I feel physical pain at this spell choice. The elf exclusive Moon Blessing spell gives a better boost and is easy to combo with other spells. You should have known better, Dragoon. Now you have to un subscribe from yourself. Listening to my future self, I used a different spell, but still the wrong spell. A brain cell dies every time I click. I bought trained knights. Don't worry that they weren't trained beforehand. I also bought court jesters, but we are low staff, so they're gonna have to multitask. With this, I have enough money for the final building. The Hall of Legends! A place for Tony Hawk and people who like and subscribe. It's very destroyed. Maybe dislike and unsubscribe. With my clicking hand destroying itself, I was able to produce one trillion coin. Unlocking the power of abdication. Abdicate. Renown Announce one's throne. Eventually, ruling a realm gets tiring, 
and I can abdicate my responsibility to someone else, letting me finally quit. Eventually, the fun must end. I just have to get enough gems to make it worth abdicating first, which you get by getting more money. And then I found out that silk blankets increase production by 2,300%. Why aren't there more grind set videos about blankets? <laughs> Bold of this game to have pay to win when you can just edit your save and give yourself money. I could just give myself all the trophies. I would be free. No, I've come this far. I have to finish it properly. I'm here for fun. 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 I've unlocked two more elf upgrades that make clicking more effective. And I got a certificate proving I'm a good person. To get it, I just had to kill 10 people of the other race. Hey, it isn't a perfect system, but it's the best we've got. I unlocked diplomacy to get away with my war crimes. Oh, by the way, I'm now earning 26 trillion coins a second. If you translate that to a yearly salary, it's exactly more than I need dollars. The second to last elf upgrade gives a 1% chance to get 250,000% more coins each click. Introducing RNG to the game. Randomness is a game mechanic that makes things things unpredictable, unlike real life which is completely predictable, where all your decisions have been set before you were born, where free will only exists as an illusion. Back to clicking. The 1% gave me 14 quintillion coins in a single click, giving me the trophy for a quintillion coin, and enough to buy the final elf upgrade, which is just more coins, they're all the same. I then invented OnlyFans to make the knights more productive, and after all that clicking and existential dread, I've made enough money for 37,000 abdication gems. The elves can take over and I can abdicate responsibility. I can finally be free and quit this game and go live my life. Wait, I got a trophy. Oh, I got a lot of trophies. Each gem gives 2% more coins per second, so all my buildings will be boosted 75,000%. It should be easy to finish the game fast now. Okay, I can't quit yet. Instead of clicking for one coin, I can click for a number bigger than one, I think. It's time to choose between good and evil again. Is my racism gone? Can I look past what they look like on the outside and see their true inequality? Nope! But this time I'm going with the angels. Maybe they can let me into heaven so I can fight Morgan for eternity. For those commenting, who is Morgan? You have to watch every Dragoon video to catch up on the lore. Also every Dratoon video and every episode episode of Samurai Jack, just to be safe, 107 trophies completed. It shouldn't be much longer now, especially since the first angel upgrade changes my mana gem from 2 to 24, meaning I can cast God's Hand boosting production, then once I get 400 mana, combo it with cool to arm, getting a huge multiplicative bonus. Then bought everything on the planet because I have more money than any human should be allowed to have. And yes, that is a species reveal. Dragoon is canonically human. Write that in your lore journal. The next three angel upgrades all boosted spells which allowed me to cast three spells at once. I'm looking a secret trophy. The game has a bunch of secret trophies that are fun mysteries to unlock. Future Dragoon here, they aren't fun. One of them was to have exactly 1,337 coins. Fuck. Please stop dropping the F-bomb. No. Only 8% of my audience is under 18. I don't care about them, but less than that is female. So I just said I don't care about women. Don't write that in your law journal. Everything was going good. Too good. Then I got a certificate for being good. And now I'm hungry and want food. English's inconsistency boils my blood. I'm done being good. I am abdicating and joining the Uggos. Oh wow, the map looks really cool. The farmers might get third degree burns from being 20 meters from lava, but that's fine. It's a shame these guys are seen as evil just because they don't fit conventional beauty standards. And they have different buildings. Slave pen, orc arena, necropolis, a portal to hell. And that was a slave pen, yeah. Okay, maybe they are actually a little evil. Now, if we go into the portal to hell, we reach another login screen. Once you put in your real political stance and celebrity crush, it leads you to, you eat the crust on your bread. You will not spend eternity in hell. Go to purgatory. I must decide. Which faction should I choose? Goblins like money. Undead like waiting around for shit to happen. Like my audience who accepts month-long waits on videos. Bully me more. Demons boost the top three buildings. And as a wise man once said, I like money. So I'm going with Goblin. Instead of a castle, it's just a giant pile of gold. The first Goblin upgrade gives me more assistance. I haven't explained assistance. And that's because I don't really understand them. They seem to make it like 99% of my income. I think they're kind of like loans of me. Just don't look them in the eyes. I got all Goblin upgrades and realized they're kind of terrible. Worse than Elves and Angels. So I'm abdicating again and going for Demons. Who have the coolest looking castle so far. And they have a brand new spell, which it boosts coins per second. They all do the same thing. Surely we've made 
made progress on the staircase. We are now here. So I've got a bit more grinding to do. I'll speed it up for you though. Once you get all upgrades for a faction, you unlock their heritage, giving boosts for all runs. So I should play each faction at least once. And there's a tip section that tells me if I get a billion gems, I can unlock archaeology. Did you know I'm actually an archaeologist in real life? I'm excited to dig up the Ankylosaurus everyone dislikes. That's a reference to another video I made, named Cookie Clicker 2 as well. I'm gonna make five more of these. I kept using spells until I finally had one billion gem. Wait, billion with an M? Future Dragoon here. I am a foolish samurai warrior. I'm going back to good to redeem myself. And I haven't gone fairy yet. They boost farms, inns, and blacksmiths, and have a mushroom castle. This time, I'll get a billion gems with a B. The fairy spell is to get hundreds of fairies chanting in the realm. This agonizing screeching noise makes the workers work harder. And now it's time we get our first farming tools. Yeah, so far they've just been using their hands like real men. And the blacksmiths just hit the iron with their massive diplomas. They're very well educated. Then for some reason, my workers joined a union. I could never have predicted this. Once I bought every fairy upgrade, I was making four quintillion coins a second. With two spells active, I got a trophy for excessive screaming. 16 sextillion coins a second and generating gem. The assistants have 100 members now. Are my clones going to replace me? I have 400 blacksmiths to fight back. Wait, no, they unionized. Everyone's against me. You know what? Attack! I will click you into oblivion. Wait, I got an achievement. Oh, a secret upgrade for clicking the assistants 100 times. I get one more assistant. No! I have 100 times to my gems. I have to abdicate for the CPS boot. I'll have to get a billion next time. 180 trophies. It shouldn't be much longer now. I'll be able to get back to my life. My job as a penguin farmer. I'm clicking for one coin each without activating my gem power. This future dragoon told me this number has to be very exact. Come on, almost there. One, two, three. Trophy unlocked a secret upgrade that gives me 13% more coins. Then I went back to elf and clicked a bunch. I clicked for hours until I had a billion gems. It was really fun. <laughs> While I was clicking, I watched my favorite YouTube video on loop. I'm a well-adjusted human being. Now that I've reset to zero coins, I can get archaeology, which costs 100 octillion coins. Who made this game? Can we find them? Can we find where they live? Can we find where they live and what they're allergic to? I went back to elves and bought every building in existence. I'm glad I get to click so much. I'm grateful. I have my second favorite video to comfort me and calm me down. And now I can pay more money than exists in the world for a shovel. You know, I own a shovel in real life. I can just sell that and retire from YouTube. Or I can pay 1.2 octillion coins to use the shovel. I found some faction coins. Hopefully soon I'll find a quest artifact. I kept digging and oh, I got one. A stone tablet that says something about the halls of legend. Does it say who destroyed them? A few more excavations and I found a piece of bark that mentions faction coin. It seems like a mystery. Maybe I need the same number of hall of legends as faction coins. That would be difficult. I did some more of my favorite thing. Found a sundial shaped artifact, probably made of animal bones. I keep getting artifacts that don't do anything. This one says the number 300. I already know about that number. I don't need help. What is the point of this? None of archaeology is helping. Whoa, what is that? A fragment of a titan statue. Did I dig this up? If I buy it, I'll unlock the titan faction. Hey, at least the Hall of Legends is starting to rebuild. Alright, I have enough faction coins to unlock Titan, but to use them I have to abdicate, so I started clicking away once again. And I didn't know if the Titans were good or evil, those were my two options. So I chose good but couldn't find it, so I instantly abdicated, and went back to the other one of my two options. And I couldn't find it in evil either, so I googled it. Obviously Future Dragoon isn't abusive enough to get me to learn, so can you all comment, you're a moron, you deserve negative 12 subscribers. Then you'll all get banned for abusing me, and I will actually lose subscribers. Subscribers. It's a flawless plan. From googling, I realized there was a third option. Titans aren't good or evil, they are neutral. They don't subscribe to traditional beauty standards. The three neutral factions are Titans, Gigantic Strongmen, the Druids, Goth Girls, and the Faceless, Octopus Hive Minds. I don't have a real life analogy for that. And first time upgrade increases the production of buildings based on the amount of building. Doll, inside the doll, inside the doll inside the door. All Titan upgrades are just about making numbers bigger, which is my main goal in life, so I can relate. Their spell is Lightning Strike, boosts a random building's production by a big number. This time Lightning struck my inn, giving it power for the first time. Over time I got all the Titan upgrades, which gave me another trophy. I now have seven faction trophies, but there are double that many. It shouldn't be that bad. Except there are actually triple as many as I have. This might not be over yet. I'll just keep clicking away. But actually, there are six times as many factions. I went back to the angel faction so that I could cast a bunch of spells. Then I realized angels only have two wings and don't pollinate flowers. Bees have four wings and do pollinate. So why am I worshipping angels? 
turns out there's no B faction, so I'm going fairies instead. This is the assistant, by the way. The assistant changes based on your faction. Did I mention that? I'm getting a bit lightheaded. Did I mention the Dolin, a Dolin, a Dolin, a Dolin? Did I mention I'm having fun? fun? At least I have a new archaeology upgrade and I can get lore artifacts like Hello Mount. This increases my life satisfaction. Maybe the druids will be fun, but I need a million faction coins to unlock them. So I'm gonna leave while my assistants get them for me. I made plans to live a full life while I was offline. I organized to go to the beach with friends, start a non-profit organization that feeds orphans, started an exercise regime. Then I looked down and saw the mouse in my hand and clicked it. I forgot all my plans and went back to the game. It had only been one hour. I returned to find 150,000 faction coins. Not enough, so I abdicated and went back to Titan. They have a buff that gives 900% extra faction coin chance. After an hour, I did it. The druidic runestone purchased, abdicated, and aligned myself with the druids. The druids' assistants are Vin Diesel. I kept excavating and got an artifact that gives me seven days of good luck. I didn't really want to keep playing for seven more days. You know what? I quit. And I came back 15 hours later. I can't escape. Maybe I can dig the entire realm away and delete the game. Wait, I found something. Is that? No, it can't be. A chocolate chip cookie snatched from the hands of an old woman. No, shit. They found me. The grandmothers are hiding under the ground. Maybe if I bribe heaven enough, they'll let me in and I can be safe from the grandmothers. They won't let me in, so I have to build a passage to the underworld to fight them head on. They say lightning never strikes the same place twice, so it'll strike either the ancient pyramid or the ancient pyramid or the ancient pyramid. That isn't enough randomness. It reminds me of real life too much. I'm abdicating. Time to keep clicking. It's been a few days. I've spent the whole time getting more secret achievements that get me 10% more coins. Some of them I had to change the time of day on my computer multiple times, so I don't really know what day it really is. I found some maths I was doing. I don't remember why I was doing it. Might be important, so just remember this number here. Thanks. After 50 days, I have reached the home of the grandmother, the underworld. And once in, two shadowy figures approached me. The drow faction and the dwarves. Apparently the drow are a dark-skinned and white-haired race of elves that live in the underworld. The grandmother! Mothers, and the dwarves are the grandfathers. They both want me to join their side. I could stop all this fighting, but I won't stop. I will fight for what I know is right. Clicking awaits me. It's been a month since that last clip. Three months since I started playing Cookie Clicker. I did fight the grandmothers. I combined spells, discovered new mechanics, hired the mercenary faction to kill the grandmothers. I used reincarnation to restart the game over and over again. The last time you saw me, I had completed this much of the game. And now, I am here. But I'm not going to explain it. Because it was a waste for me, and it would be a waste for me to tell it to you. This video could be another hour long. But I'm not showing you the grandma universes I conquered. I said I would quit when I got all cookie clicker achievements, but then there were more added. I said I would quit after that. Then there were realm achievements. I realize now that there will always be something more. I can't do things for a purpose I don't care about. I have to choose what I actually want to spend time on, and that isn't clicking. I have to now give up on what I've invested so much time in because it isn't worth it anymore. I don't know what I'll do next, but I'm glad I did this. I had a good time. I learned a lot. I had fun.